did. So I was like, that's, it's Miss Smith to you. But she, she's so awful. She's very awful. So that's Miss Smith to you. She heard me cussing and she's like, yeah, Melissa. I was like, that's my friend. It's your teacher. It's Miss Smith. She's no, she's very nice. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, Melissa. I love her, you see. She, oh, those are broken. I just called the jeweler to fix them. All right, here, here we go. Oh, I wasn't sure if they're from Shane or the real deal. Tracy, oh, wow, who that's has, Sean's good, good jewelry. You say it's from Shane. But, I mean, who has that much diamonds on anything? Obviously, obviously, I've never seen something like that before. That's a whole heap of bling. Yeah, but it's not from she I'm gonna tell Sean you say Please that. don't say that. Mm -hmm. I mean who has that much bling? He's Sean a Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for a full hour of fun, frolic and foolishness. So other than Tracy dissing up Sean and his jewelry. I did not diss up Sean and his jewelry. It was or, more... To be honest, he's put them in those weird bags. It does look very weird in those weird bags. And to be honest, like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm not used to like some just diamonds rolled out in front of me like that. Like, <laughs> Welcome to my home, <laughs> my humble abode. All right, let's get a drink. I feel really hungry today. Oh, I just have I've already to. had a patty. But I had to have something. Mm. I'm gonna go. So anyway, I just theory. want to say, um, Kalalu lobes are super hard to find. Like they're non-existent. I called Juicy Beef, and I was like, "You guys don't do Kalalu lobes." So apparently, they stopped making them because they're upgrading the machines. And in place of it, you can go and get cocoa bread, and you can get you can go and get kalaloo put in the middle of the cocoa bread and I'm like but it's not a kalaloo oh. loaf and they're like no but it's a, it's a kalaloo sandwich that's what they call it now oh 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 today I'm drinking daydream by lady B, and this is gin lychee and guava you know what gin does I mean, mm. so. thank you love the court color coordination so, yeah oh the same palette thank you thank strictly you. cookies is here lady B is here Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today for the fun and the frolic. And of wow, course. mine is gin too, well. <laughs> mm. Well, it's about to be a comment shit less. show. Comment less. Mm. It's okay, it's okay. Gin. Mm. This is why I hate gin. Why? Because you it's almost it's, undetectable. It's, I don't know. Gin has like a nice little half, but like it tastes like it, it tastes like lemonade. Mm -hmm. It has a very flavor of lemonade. So this one is gin, guava, raspberry, lime juice, and natural sweetener, which just means it tastes like the best juice ever, and it's gonna get you. Oh, no. Twins? You mean new births, Jody? I dropped that. Yeah, twins. I do. Lefty and righty. <laughs> um. So Lady B, where can you find her? So if you go onto her Instagram page, uh, Lady B Mixology, she has a nice little skinny red fridge right at the front of her store there um, on Waterloo? What, Waterloo Road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also S Foods and also Jamaica Food and Drink. You can stop by and find out. Um, I'm answering. Jeez. Jamaica Food... Food and drink and kitchens. My well, Sky Living is not joking. No, she's not she joking. She wants, wants her lady She wants an answer immediately. She, and she wants her lady be immediately. Right. So 20 West King's House Road. Look for the little red fridge. <laughs> she's laughing. Um, and you'll find flavors in there if you want like special flavors or if you need a special order like you need 10 of something. Because really and truly you shouldn't be getting any less than 10, you know? No, no mm -hmm. less than 10. Mm -hmm. 10 or nothing. Mm. Exactly. 10 or nothing. 10 or nothing. So I was asking Tracy this question before, but I don't think she answered it at all. Oh. How much deodorant are you supposed to put on? Because well, I, I was just dropping deodorant balls this morning. Well, that's why I didn't answer. I was in such so shock about why you asked the question. And she's like, because I was at the gym and when I lift up my hand, deodorant balls were dropping. I had to clean them up. And I'm like, what? Well, you can't just smoosh them into the mat. How much deodorant are you putting on? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I How many swipes you do? One, two, three, four. Four! And it's natural deodorant. Well, I do eight. Carla does eight. She goes, one, one two, two, three, 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 three
I'm like, ocho? I said, ocho is a lot. I do ocho. Carla too. does ocho. She, you see her quote is right. I'm like, ocho? I, I think it should be ocho in total. <laughs> I do ocho too. Yeah, when some says, I was wondering, I was dropping deodorant balls everywhere. But I, uh, I don't like the deodorant balls at all. I'll do like maybe two. I'm going to try doing two swipes tomorrow. One, two. One, two. I do two swipes. I'm doing it wrong? No, I'm going to do two swipes tomorrow. Use spray deodorant for gym. Follow me for more tips. Drew, I will not follow you with that tip. You've given me great tips this morning, but I only wear natural deodorant right now. Love how Drew called me today, this morning. He didn't call, he messaged me. Felt like such a bad friend. Mm. <laughs> Holy for swipes that. Which gym are you at now, Drew? So I have a gym here at home. But I bear foolish this video. I don't even know how the deodorant was able to drop off from under my arm. Because I bear I go to the, I go to Jody's home gym to actually I'm the trainer there. Tracy, you have not been there in like two months. I know I need to come back. Worse when Tracy come up here foolish. Alright guys, let's do arms. And the two of us are like, yo, did you see blah blah blah? Yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bear kiki cock at the gym. <laughs> That's why we put jaw mouth so strong. Yeah, <laughs> 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 said you do foolish. Mm. I do. But I mean the foolishness has been keeping me pretty toned, you know? You look good. Yeah. It's a foolishness, you know. Foolishness. I just find I'm foolishness. Yeah, yeah. You follow me on Peloton? Oh please. I've don't. actually been doing the lane lane break instead of the classes. So <laughs> when some caught us one time in the gym and now all of a sudden it's bare she's just flinging bare jokes. No, but this how way. she caught us was the worst possible ever. What was we doing again? I, Jordan, I don't know, but then she just looks like Hey, hey. Guys. What are you guys doing in there? I think we're taking, I don't know what we're doing. Tracy and I were in the gym and we're really, at the moment that Winsome walked in and caught us, was, the timing was impeccable. And Winsome is the worst because she walks so quiet. Yes, yeah, so she, uh, she's like, hey, mm -hmm. good morning. Okay, you girls, don't overexert yourselves there. <laughs> Wait, oh, we were rubbing in a circle. <laughs> PT, my back feels really good. My back feels good. My back feels good. I need to come PT, PT by PT because I'm rounding out on my shoulders and my upper back here. I'm rounding out PT by PT. Mm -hmm. So I actually wanted to come to to yeah, that's what we're doing. But we were doing it and we're doing it like like cogs. So one was going one way, one was going the other way. And then Winsome walks in, but we didn't see her for like maybe three seconds. And then we looked up, we were like, ah, at the same time. And then Winsome was just, oh my gosh. It's just a vibe around it, here. Yeah, but it was Winsome. That's how we do intergalactic um, cardio. Is that thunder? It's probably the work, man. Remember, it's Tuesday here. Yeah, I know. It's Tuesday, doing some kind of house renovations or something. I know, it's this crazy. is really good. So anyway, um Is Winsome the sober one? Always. I don't know, you know, Tracy. Always. Winsome, I don't know, you know. I don't know. That she's Winsome a is a tricky sister. one, you know. She'll be the one that, that will be yeah, she's, she's a voice stubborn. of reason. She's Winsome a voice of a reason. reason. But sometimes the voice of reason, the voice comes out and it's just a little cackly and we can tell she's um under no a few. No man, no man. Winsome is You've never man. heard Winsome under a few? I saw Winsome under a few. I, I've seen Winsome under she, a when few when too. She, when she mm. <laughs> um, so if it's if it's thundering, my my crew is at school. One is on um the football field and one is swimming. Yeah, I don't think they should be. It's, I don't think it's thunder. They, they're saying it's thunder. Thunder oh, it's girl. Thunder. Yes, it's thunder. Thunder. Let me go and talk to Sean to maybe pick up the kids because um I don't want them to swim in this weather. Oh, my hair gets so naughty. My hair gets so naughty. Anyway, so um I had a couple of topics that I wanted to address and one was Ben and Jennifer and you know that they're getting a divorce. He's or, down in the studio. Or something. Like but he suffers with alcoholism, so I think that he might be having like one of his like little alcoholic things because she went into a meeting with Jennifer 
his ex-wife they met up the other day and she stopped her whole entire tour because she said she needed to be with family so i don't know i mean i don't think that she looks like the easiest person to be with but he also seems to suffer from alcoholism sarah says oh gosh tracy tired of them why are you always talking about j-lo though i like her mm. like how you like other people i like j-lo oh who do i like name me one person i like spice love spice love spice spice come on um i told you she's different her bestie right but spice come and shake things up with her song man Hey. So nobody. So you, you love spice. You love. I love spice. spice. Yes. Love, I love busy signal. Yeah, I love busy signal too. But that's mm -hmm. because you have your little chipmunk in the back. But happy birthday, yeah, my friend. What? Okay. Then one more year upon them. And then she does this. Then she does this. I'm like okay, Stevie. I'm like Stevie. Um, hello. I just picked you up from um the Golden Triangle, and you're back there. With your dance hall tunes? No, Stevie's, Stevie's in the streets, yo. I'm in a business with nobody business. That's a lie. I love everybody's business. I love <laughs> the excitement. I love the drama. I love to hear about it. So, Spice defend our resident bulldog. Yes, Spice. Come into my business. You hear Spice? <laughs> Come defend me. So, I just wanted to say that I really wish that there was something that was a little bit more permanent than mm. waxing for hair removal there is tracy what there is laser hair removal it's so expensive do you know in europe how cheap laser hair removal okay. is and i don't understand why it has to be that expensive because you bought the machine already all you're doing now is plugging it in and rubbing it yes yeah, so why so fine but why do you have to charge so much money it takes zero talent for you to rub it you can teach anybody this. It takes zero talent to rub it. Like, why do you have to charge so much money for an area? Okay, so let me just say two things. So the places that you're calling for pricing, right? They are pricing per the persons that they're catering to. That's the first thing, right? The next thing is the type of machines that are for darker skinned people now you have to remember that these laser hair i just want to say and i'm saying but i am saying i let you say it's my say so what happens is the laser right it sees your lighter colored skin and then it's able to find a contrast i just want to say the people in europe are dark can you give me a second? No, because you're saying foolish. Well, then I'll go back to my. Dark. No, well, well, when you. No, but they're. they're olive skin. Look at the people in Italy. Olive they're skin not is not white. black. But they're not white. So when you have a black man with a black beard hair, the machine needs to be able to pick up a contrast between the skin and the hair, right? So the machines that will work for our skin tones here in Jamaica, not just who is tanned and who is olive, black skin with black hair right or excuse me but you don't Dark buy the machine so why you have to charge so much so, for it well i i guess you know you have to deal with maintenance and stuff like that and some of the, these machines i'm not sure about laser ones they use a card so when you buy the card from the states this is how they regulate their machines um so you buy a card and the card has 15 treatments on it right so the treat it's already kind of price adjusted also the places that you're calling to find prices for tracy are pricing for people like you what is I'm going to give you the name of a place I've told you already where to call and you can get it for almost half the price. Well, give me that name and number because I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Like, I am struggling, guys. I am struggling. Don't you dare. Don't you dare show anybody that. Levi spoke to you about that yesterday. Levi spoke to me about it. That's why you know it's bad. Guys. And second of all, right? Second of all, it every I have four no, weeks no, I have to deal no, with the I said to you, um, I did. And I said to you, what you need to do is you need to go to EMED when it is, they're having, they have two sales a year. And they, Tracy, when I tell you, yes, and I call for the sale, I call for the sale and I don't have $1,200 to put down at one point in time. So why don't you talk to the lady at the front? Just go in and speak to her and be like, you know, is it possible for me to do, instead of a package of six, do a package of three? Or is it possible for me to pay? And okay, you know the sale is coming up. I think the next one is going to be in Christmas time. So why don't you start saving up money towards that from now? Because what is happening under your arms, there's no excuse for it. 
I feel you, Tracy. It's hard. I have the same hair issues. Like, do you know okay, how so much things I have to pay Kim for? Kim K posts some device to use at home. So I did have a hot, a hot home device, and Tracy stole it from me. Did you break it? I did not steal it from you. That big thing. I asked to borrow it, and you took it back, you horror. And then you're going to blame me. I'm a hairless horror. Yeah, but then you're going to you're not going to allow me to use it, and then you're just going to shame me. Tracy, you shame yourself. You put up your own harm. You don't see under there. You, brush it. Brush under your arm. I could. Amazon laser hair treatment. You better buy a Groupons and go to Miami. I'm very uncertain about those devices. I'm kind of uncertain about them too. You know, and then uh, if you, those devices, those at-home devices, you have to be very careful how you use them in your nether region because that skin down there is very sensitive. And one day, you see, one day me zap my body all and nearly dead. It will burn you. Why are you shouting? Oh, remember, my U station tube is blocked. I can't hear myself so good. Jeez, man. Sorry. I just want to block everybody else's U station That's not what happens when somebody's loud around you. <sighs> so how did you get you blocked U station tube? Let's hear it now. I was traveling from the airplanes and you know the pressure okay i can't say last time i've been on an airplanes so it was when i was swimming at my country villa <laughs> i decided to go for a swim and it was so refreshing but the water had warmed for me before i went in because i don't do tepid <laughs> so i remember i went to the grill and i was swimming and i wasn't even swimming i would say i get a little wet up and the water went in my hair drum and it went behind my hair drum and I didn't mm -hmm. drain it out properly mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. I got a mid-air infection and it just never cleared up. My eustachian tube is still blocked from what, two years ago. Oh my gosh. You I guys, have you one I use in the belly and the groin. It's not that bad. The upper St. Andrew accent. Apparently, where I, apparently I can't even be honest. The one girl says so she can't even understand. She had to listen to it four times. Nobody in Jamaica speaks like that. I had to listen to her talking four times. <laughs> Who speaks like that? <laughs> I find that when you go and apply for your visa, you speak the same way. <laughs> but moving right along, I digress. I don't want to say anything on this because I'm going to get myself in a whole heap of trouble. Well, you need to do the same thing that I'm doing because I think it's a split screen. What? And you're always doing your hair. <laughs> You're like that model in Sean's song, which I think her name is Anika. Pretty, pretty, pretty little Spanish girl and she has gorgeous hair. But she feels her whole identity is about her hair. So she'll be doing the video, she's like, oh, wait, one second. And Sean was like, we had to stop so often for this girl to fix her friggin' hair. And her hair did not move. It was so neatly coiffed. And every minute she's there. But you can see from like when she does her little Instagram videos and stuff, she's constantly fixing. That's what you're like. Well, not really because I didn't brush my hair since Monday and it was just in a braid. So when I came here, by the way, I've been on the road with this braid since Monday. And then when I came here, I took out the braid because it looked so bad. I didn't want that to be on screen. And then I was just like, oh, you know, Tracy, people actually watch this. Like, you know, what happens if you go viral? Thank God I had done my hair that week that we went That's viral. And true. I was like, half of the time I come here looking like crap. I don't wear makeup. I don't know my hair. I don't know anything. And then I came and I was like, oh, let's take the ponytail out. So then I was trying to just do something. My hair looks very, it's getting longy. I have a, I have a tr if anybody wants to know, I have a treatment in my hair. Thank you. Thank you. The hard, I, I'm speaking for the back. Like, I feel like I can't talk properly. Like, right What's going on with Jodi and the hard H's? Don't know. Ha, sorry. <laughs> ha, so, so sorry. Ha, so, so. It's the gin talking. I tell you, the gin is no good, the, you know. The gin will creep up on you. The gin is no bueno. What brand gin you used for this? But not only that, so Jean will creep up on you, you know. But Jean? <laughs> as a, a girl, Jean? Yeah, Jean and Jean? It, Jean. It will creep up on you, but you get, I get a hangover from Jean. Mm. I'll let you know tomorrow. You'll let me know tomorrow? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, can you reply to Miss Smith for me, please? Mm-hmm. You don't have her? Okay, maybe. maybe you're not spelling her name properly. Put in M E L. 
How do you not have her? Don't have her. You don't have her? Mm -mm. I can't. Even, I don't even think Sean has her either. I always wonder why people um have two phones. How do you not have her? Get her on Instagram. Well, talk to the people. No? You need to talk to the people. Oh, I'm talking to the people. Been following you guys from COVID. Thanks, John. We actually started this little program in COVID. Um, we did not just come and sit down here last week to carry on bad. Um, yeah, there she is. We started in COVID because we saw where so many businesses were. Send her to school. Yeah, ask her, what did you just write, Jody? She's on live. Um, we saw where small businesses were really suffering in COVID. People were um, cutting back on so many different things. Stores were even closing. So whether you had a small business or a larger business, everybody was suffering. And you I know, feel like this is what we've talked about for the past month. You can't find any But this is what the show is about. Do you guys think I should get a nipple piercing? Which nipple would you get it in? I don't want one. You don't? Mm -mm. It's kind of cool. Yeah, but I don't wear... I, I'm always like... I never wear a bra. I'm always braless. So I just feel like I'd have like... No, you wouldn't. Through. Not all the time. Hmm? Not all the time. Remember when I had my tongue pierced? I had my tongue pierced for longer. You took yours out for a man. And I had my... And I had my belly button pierced too. Me too. I had mine for longer. Why you took yours out? My belly button? Mm-hmm. Um, I got sick of it. I went through... I think I took it out after Levi, a little bit after Levi. <laughs> was asking how much. And then I had my eyebrow pierced. Yes, that was cool. Mm -hmm. I love my eyebrow pierced. I like the eyebrow piercing too. I think about putting back in my belly ring sometimes. I want to put back in a belly ring to be able to take out all that junju that's in the hole. You ever smell, you ever smell a hole piercing yet? No, you know? Stevie the other day was like, Mommy, Ew. let me clean out your belly button and then she Ew, why like, does she want to do that? She got the Q-tip and the alcohol, alcohol and she cleaned out my belly button. Some crud was in there too. Mm. And she can shame you. Ew, Mommy! Ew! That's disgusting. That's what she said. Mm. It's like, Lord, just wait till they me up. Clean Stevie's belly button. See what Melly's saying. Mm. Anyway, mm. what else is going on? That's a sus. That's a sus. Yeah, hmm. what else is going on? That's a sus. Any new it's restaurants really opening up this business. summer? You know what? I don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, you remember Grasshoppers? Like, why don't they open up a summer series club like Grasshoppers? Like, that was so good. That's a club. So, but why don't summer them... series club? I need to call Kind of like Climax? Yeah, well. When I say summer series, like mm. it only opens up in the summer. Mm. I've been called Vikram. All right, you do that. What's going on on the show today? Armpits and belly button is disgusting. What are you guys doing this summer? We're going on a world tour. I think I said this last week. Your head looks big today. Yes, because you pushed my chair up and yours back. Because I thought you did it purposely to sabotage me. This is sabotage you. Mm. Like you wanted to be the prettier sister this week. This week? Oh, please. <laughs> you think because your hair is tall, it makes you pretty? It's in here. It's in your heart. I joke, it's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's all hair, boo. <laughs> it's all in here. <laughs> Why you like this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lady we Today, I really don't like you. I, this juice is crunking. Mm. This juice is crunking. It's crunking. Mm -hmm. So I went into Mac twice this week. Mac in... Um, I love you. The, I don't like you, Lady B. I love you. What time is it? This is it's a little early for all of this, eh? <laughs> Woo. So let me show you what I've been doing. Story time. <laughs> mm. So, I was on TikTok. Right? And I'm just thinking about your makeup palettes today and I think Jodie looks so much nicer now that she's using a lighter palette. She should throw away all of the dark stuff. So on TikTok, Tiffany Lawson was saying Z palette. So this actual container, forget what's inside of this for now. This actual container here has a magnetic bottom, right? And she was saying, I don't like to travel with 10 million different palettes. So what she does is she takes out the little pots, right? And the Z palette, you can look for it on Amazon, Z palette. Right, the Z palette will actually come with little magnetic stickers. 
little magnetic pieces. So you have the metal parts and the circle parts. So then what you do, it's very crackhead like. It's extremely crackhead like, right? And it's, yeah. So you can go into Mac and you can buy your favorite shade with the magnets already on the bottom. It's sold and it's a much cheaper. I think it's like 1,300 for one little color, right? Or if you have your favorite color in a palette, here's where the crackhead behavior goes. So if you have a, you need a candle and you have to hold your, I, I, yeah, very crackheady. You have to hold the palette over it because the glue, you're trying to melt the glue in here. See that? So I held it over my candle and then you can kind of see when, you know, as a crackhead, you, you kind of know, like when you have it, you can kind of see and then you pry it with a razor blade up and then your thing will pop out. It's very, and it starts to smell because it's plastic. Look here, I was in your bathroom and I was like, what has, what has my life come to? But anyway, I was able to take out my two favorite shades and um, I was able to put it in my Z palette. So when I travel, I would just travel with this. And these are the only colors I need. Because as Tracy said, sometimes I'll have a palette and it's like too dark. <laughs> um, it's too dark, but these are my, this is what I'll be traveling with. And this is perfect. Liz Liz Low says, hi guys, I have a 90s themed dance hall party to go to. Give me ideas, please. What kind of things dash style? Oh, so back in the 90s dance hall, Jamaica was known. Our Jamaican dance hall women were known for their style and their fashion. Mm -hmm. um, they were traveling, they were sewing, they were designing, and they were coming up with fashions that nowhere in the caribbean or in the u.s were wearing we were or sorry they were at the forefront of caribbean fashion of so dance i would like fashion. say if you get a pair of thigh high boots and they're like wear a full piece swimsuit like a full piece like no cut out or not a full piece swimsuit and then you get like a sequin belt, belt and put it right under the full piece swimsuit and then you can do your hair in like the three buns one two three going across and then you have to get like some big jewelry like some big jewelry don't matter if it gold or silver big jewelry big earrings big bangles right the bangles come right up your hand and some wicked rings do your nails get the press-ons do them real long i'm tracy british lashes. everybody tracy british so what you could do this is you could actually log on to youtube and you can look up some old 90s videos or you can look up 90s they really dances. like the color they really like the color colors, ro royal yeah. purple and royal blue like those colors were Hot. You can look up Carlene to see what she was wearing. Mm -hmm. Um, because honestly, yo, are we some top tier fashion? No, I mean, and for the guys, you know, if you want to do something for your for your for your um male friend, I don't know. Liz, maybe you have a male friend you're going with. I don't know. But they used to wear like the big square shades, and they pop up. They had the ones that popped up, but they were black. They were black, 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 black. And like really graphic big silk shirts, you know? Like that was really hip. That was the era, man. That was Jeez. so good. You know, it's funny because I'm listening in the car to see with Stevie going to school and like I put on some Britney Spears this morning. And she's like, Mommy, who's this? And I'm like, Britney Spears. She's like, Who? I'm like Britney Spears. And I'm like, it's so funny that the oldies that she's going to know now. Yeah. Like and you know when I was listening to my parents' oldies that like they really got off to and like i'm like oh these are oldies and i'm like damn britney spears is old as so <laughs> like this is crazy and i played some in sync for her and stuff you know back streets back all right but okay the crazy thing about these lyrics is like i was young so i was <laughs> chicken butty so the crazy thing about these lyrics is that i was young so i just used to sing them and not know the meaning behind it but then i was listening to sugary Every morning there's a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. I know it's not mine, but I'll see if I can use it for the weekend of a one one night stand. What's a halo? I guess she was bad. So it's like, you know, she did something bad. Like she slept with him. She had a one night stand with him. Like the song is very sexual. She always writes wrongs for me. Like everything is very sexual. Like even Hi, Je Gary. even Jeannie in a bottle. Mm -hmm. feel like I've been locked up tight with a century have... of lonely nights waiting for someone to release me. Oh. Licking my lips and blowing kisses my way. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give it away. Baby, baby, baby. Like, I sang all of these words and had no idea. I'm oh, like, precious. licking my lips and blowing kisses my way. <laughs> my parents must have been like, I hope she's wearing condoms. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, I had no idea what I was singing. Did anybody else have this issue? No. But then we had like, she won the pianist. And we'd be like, oh my gosh, there's such amazing musicians out here. I know. She need the pianist. And I'm like, mommy, can I get piano lessons? <laughs> yeah. We all wanted piano lessons when that came out. And I'm looking back and I'm like, these songs are so suggestive. <laughs> yep. Oh, sorry, let me not pick while on camera. Gross. Mm. Oh, Tracy, so you're downing that. It's hard not to. It's so good, Jody. But the gin, it's creeping up on you, you know. I can no, see it. Your little it's nose is flaring every time you talk. You love your husband? Now you're imagining him on me? Stop. I had Sean's, no business Sean's, Sean's, Sean's nose. Stop me. Leave Sean's nose when he talks. So now she's, she's imagining that I'm Sean because she I had no business so seeing Usher's song nice and slow, singing Usher's song nice and slow at 11. No, we didn't. No! Nice to see the most gorgeous version of Heckle and Jackie on Jamaican social media. I hate when I don't get the jokes. Heckle and Jekyll. Heckle and Jekyll. Oh, Heckle They're and saying Jekyll. They're Heckle and... Oh, Excuse me. What did I say? Heckle and Jekyll. Jekyll. I prefer to go by Thelma and Louise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Louise. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, Louise. So I'm Louise. <laughs> Not, no, I'm Louise. You're Thelma. No, because I, I'm Louise. Okay. All right, Louise. Okay, Thelma. Mm. When are we coming back to K Man? When Una get some shade. Mm -mm. Una want press the button and make Jesus press the, the, the retractor go over because, good lord. K Man is hot. I've never been to anywhere hotter than that yeah. in my entire life. I could get on the road and Tracy goes, I've never seen that before. So I'm like, what? She goes, you're sweating and it's this sweat, your makeup is sitting on top of little sweat dots on your crazy. face. I was like, what? Me? Sweat? And then she's like, don't pat it, don't pat it because you're patting off. I know you have freckles. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Came and heat is so different. I loved all the music and I was oblivious to the meanings. My dad introduced me to Nina Simone and I was well into my 20s before I realized what I want some sugar in my bowl meant. Mm -hmm. You are probably like, yeah, who eats cornflakes by itself? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some sugar in there. <sighs> Miami almost washed me last week. I know. That was crazy. So many of my friends were stuck in Miami or couldn't get back to Jamaica. Couldn't get back to Jamaica from Miami mm -hmm. or couldn't get out of Jamaica to head up to Miami. Sean was supposed to leave on Thursday and his flight got cancelled. So he had to leave and, and just reroute somewhere else. So mm -hmm. I hope everybody in Miami is is okay because water damage is like it's severe yeah it's severe and it's long lasting and sometimes you don't even understand the but do you know that extent you, of water damage insurance in america is not mandatory like out here you have to have homeowners insurance no it's not mandatory that's crazy and insurance in miami does not cover everything so if you get home insurance that does not cover everything like you have to read through because maybe it might not cover flooding it might not cover fire you know what i'm saying so you mm -hmm. have to look through to see exactly what, because it might cover rainfall but doesn't cover flooding and then you have to when you go to claim the insurance they'll be like oh but that time that was considered flooding they're very tricky very tricky. very tricky um very somebody tricky. had asked earlier are we doing any more carnivals for this year and yes we are heading off to a crop over in august um however i've been doing start i started to do a little bit of research um Crop over is not considered a carnival, it's considered a festival. Um, and I'm, I'm going to continue doing my research as to why that is. And um, Bayesians do not like when you, you know, class them as a carnival. They're a festival and there's a different meaning behind it than to a regular carnival. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, Barbados. I will show up and show up educated. But by the time you ask me, I'll be so drunk. I'm just going to say bullshit anyway. This is true. This is true. This is true. This is true. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm super excited to go. Um, I'm just gonna ignore those questions. I'm super excited to go. Um, and I'm also looking forward to any other island that would like to invite Jody and I to come down to participate in Carnival with, the, with them. Um, last year, Cayman invited us to come down and we jumped with Renegade Mass, and that was absolutely awesome. Cayman is amazing. 
um, Renegade. They have some amazing costumes this year as well. I really enjoy their designs. And I we had a good so, time. Yeah, we had a really good time. And Cayman on a whole yes. is a vibe. So I feel like going down for Cayman Carnival, it's definitely something that I want to do again. We decided to do Barbados and you know, yeah. I'm on a budget so Jody had to respect that I can't do. Can't when have do. you been on a budget ever affected us? Do you pay for anything? Actually, I did. What did you pay for, Tracy? Tell me what you paid for. Yes, tell me what you paid for. That's so mean of you, Joey. What you paid for, Tracy? I can't believe you don't even remember. What you paid for? No, I'm not talking about in 2002 when you bought my costume for $250. I'm talking about recently. When I want to go to a carnival, you just have to come. You know what, Jody? That's not nice. That's not nice? No, because I paid for something. What you paid for? I paid for something. What you paid for? Every time, every time we do a trip, I need... I buy you something in the airport. Thank you. A little coffee, food, a coffee, the food, right? Something like that. That's, That's true. not nice. You're being ungrateful. No, no, I'm not saying I'm being ungrateful. You are I'm being a, ungrateful. I appreciate the liquor. You, you bought me sushi don't. last time. Yeah. Okay. But it's not fair for you to come out here and say, you know, it was expensive. You don't know. I know. You don't know. I know. You don't know. Oh, you know I don't know. How do you know what carnival costs? You've never paid for it. That's not true. No. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Josie. Airport food is expensive. And I thank you for the airport food. But by the time you reach the airport, after all that fetching, it just goes in and out. Okay, I have a whole lot to look at airport food. You know, the food. amount of things I do for you. I didn't say you didn't do anything for me. But I think it's disingenuous for you to come on here and say carnival is expensive. Carnival is expensive. You, it is. Exactly. So how is that disingenuous? When Sam says stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Enduring farts is expensive. Exactly, Drew. And if you know, you know. Joey says, You don't want another cousin. I'm Tracy. Jeez and peace. Mm. Wanna miss Bermuda Carnival? No, I got a proper, proper cousin from Tracy last week, Saturday. Then this Saturday, I got one from Arnella. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm cool it. I'm going to cool it. <laughs> you need to cool it. Cool yeah, it. so I'm just saying that any other island that would like to invite us down to come and play carnival with them, we are totally open to that possibility. And it's something that we truly enjoy from a cultural experience because I feel like carnival is this time where you get to see the vibe of an island. And like, it's such a cultural experience because everybody wants to put their food on display. Like they want to put like, oh, this is a service on yeah. display. Like you're getting the best of the best of that island during that time. They're the like, people are, people so are coming down. Let's make sure our stores are open mm -hmm. later. Like, you know? Yeah. So everything, yeah, you're right. Everything is on display. Yeah. So I really, I really the parties. I really would love to go to St. Lucia Carnival. Yes. St. Lucia. Grenada. Somebody mentioned Grenada Spice earlier. Spice Island. I don't know. The Gren I heard the, the Grenadian girls are beautiful. Like, no, that's Guyana. Grenadians are beautiful too. But it's Guyana. Woo! Let me see Guyana. Well, their Grenada, Grenada is beautiful. Grenada is a Spice, Spice Island. Island. It's beautiful. And then I've been to Guyana before, but yeah. not for Carnival. Mm -hmm. They had some brass Chinese food over there. They had some wicked Chinese food over in Guyana. Yeah. And yeah. I would yeah. also love to go to, I don't know what to do for my birthday yet. It's in December and I was thinking of doing like a December, January carnival, a New Year's carnival, which would be somewhere down in like, I think it was the ABC Islands. Was it ABC Islands? What Island? is the ABC Islands? Aruba, Barbuda. What's the sea? Croatia. Croatia is not in the Caribbean. Curacao. Curacao. No, it's a Curacao. What language Say, is it? Since New Year's Day. Is Jamaica the biggest physical island that hosts carnival? That's a Whoa, that's a lot of geography right there. I'm not sure. Curacao. Curacao. Bonary. No, not Cuba. So, say, Kits Carnival is New Year's Day. Maybe Aruba. that's what we should do. Bonary and Curacao. Bonaire. Bonary. Bonaire. It's not Bonaire. That's the, the um playground of the wealthy. It's a Bonary. Okay, Baccarat. I think it's I think it's French. It's Dutch. So Baccarat. air is Ari. Jordi sent her friend into the store and <laughs> so, so, so it was a perfume store. So I was like, oh you want to go and ask us something? She's like, oh yeah. 
I said, go in there and ask if they have any. Uh, ba what did I say though? I said, Baccarat. I said, go and ask for the Baccarat. But I said something else. It was two words that she said together. So she's like, oh, hi, um, do you have any of the Baccarat um, something? And the lady just, she was trying to hold a straight face, you see, and I'm standing up outside, like, what she said to you? She said, she doesn't have any right now. And the lady is in there like, <laughs> Bonair, Bonari, Bonair, Bonari. Okay, let Jody have her time. She wants to roll her tongue. It's Bonari. She should have saved that roll tongue for later. I'm sorry. Hmm? What's happening later? Spanish class? Chanson. Bonari. <laughs> First me I hear Closet clutch don't give me no laughing Ari face Jody. Cause today you never drop off my clothes for me Uh oh mm -hmm. Closet uh -oh. clutch I gonna get it now Winnie Ooh. Closet clutch mm. getting it You just going around eh It's going around, mm. it's going around. I got these That's alright call it what you will Just the go there and go say it. No, it's Bonari is French. Jody, why? Oh, she probably lives there. Anyway, I got these in Colombia. Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little hiccup today. <laughs> Close the conversation. Oh, I had a little hiccup today. Oh, you had a hiccup today. Yeah. All right, no problem. We forgive you. We forgive you. We forgive mm. you. We forgive I need you. to find out what's going on with my children. The little thunder here. Is um <laughs> causing havoc. Listen, I need to put this down because I am dying. You're for going for it, eh? I'm gonna have to take a nap <laughs> before I go home to my child. But you always come here and, and hide a nap. Oh my gosh, I can't go home and nap. Then I get mommy, mommy. <laughs> she frightened the crap out of me on Sunday. So my eyes are closed and I'm sleeping. So I sleep and my eyes don't close fully, right? She yeah. sleeps like this. No, they're not open so much. They're not open so much. But they're, they're, you can, but you can tell I'm sleeping and my phone was on, right? It's a proper dose, you know. Then Stevie comes up to me with a mint that has been in her mouth. You want this? So I was like, shit! I'd right to see her hair. I was like, Stevie, I'm so sorry, but you frightened me. But no, I don't want to spit up mint. Why you don't want it? So mm. I had to take it because I felt so bad that I shouted shit at her. I know. You yeah. heard? I heard, I heard, I heard. But it's so funny because you know all those Instagram where you see the parents. And the kid bought some. What you have? Can I have some? If that is not Stevie, I don't know what Jody could be on the other end of the house. And Jody crushes something up. Auntie, what you have? Like when I pick her up from school and I'll have like something or like I sometimes do it on purpose and I'll touch like so I say, What you have? It's like, nothing. What you have up there? Nothing, Stevie. Yeah, you have. What you have? <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny that I don't really snack that much. Or if I snack, it's something like peanuts or cashews. And she doesn't like that. So she's always like not asking me. But Jody always has candy or mm -hmm. treats. So she always asks Jody. Mm -hmm. I always share minties on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. But I'm not supposed to eat the one that comes out of her mouth. And she was sick too. So. Oh, gross. I don't know why you wanted to go with that. That's disgusting. You ate it though. Well, I felt bad because I just said shit in her face, like loud too. Like she didn't even want to show up like this. She's so cute and her hair is growing. Thank God. Her hair has grown? Mm -hmm. Well, Remy will tell you to. Mine too. Mine too. Let me saw something else. Very really good dimples. If I ever tell you. Mm. She anyway. Is. All right, let's wrap. Okay, well, I'm, um, I'm excited because I finally made some money that i'm fixing up my salon very nice very nice mm -hmm. it's looking good slowly but surely mm -hmm. slowly but surely it's mm -hmm. looking good mm -hmm. it's taken a little while because since i opened up a year ago i've had to use you know it, i'm not this type of person who's gonna borrow money so i'm always like being lick a lick a lick a lick a lick a lick a just like mr singh from town center mm -hmm. but now i borrow no money i'm just going to do it myself right. so it's taken a little time but it looks good. Um, Feli came today and she looked in the back room and she's like, it looked good. Oh, I'll, I'll come on Tuesday. Um, remember when Jody would tell Remy, come on, curls. I still say it to her, but she doesn't stand still for too long. 
She's like, you know those little Tasmanian devils? Like, she just doesn't sound like, Remy, come on, let me comb out your hair. And then there were there have been a couple of nights where I don't get to comb out her hair and put in the detangler. So she wakes up the next morning and I'm like, Remy, come here. And she start ball and I said to her, I was like, Remy, you have to sleep in your bonnet. Because when she sleeps, she's still spinning. Yeah, that's Stevie too, but Stevie don't want to sleep in the bonnet, man. I forget her bonnet for Stevie too. I have so many bonnets for Remy. Okay, two. But I was like, Remy, please sleep in your bonnet and your hair won't get as nutty. I'm going to have to ask you for one of those bonnets to see if Steve will sleep in it if I, if I should Well, maybe her. you should put on a bonnet and use it. So put on a bonnet a few nights and just don't say anything to her. Put it on. And then one day when she asks, be like, oh, it's a bonnet. Would you like a bonnet too? Good idea. Let her see you in it. Good idea. Don't be like, here, wear this. Yeah, good idea. Good I idea. have a I have a silk pillowcase. Good for your face. Steve was too cute washing the dishes. She's a helpful listener. I said, mommy, I'm helpful. Whatever. Whatever. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching today. And we will see you next week when we have some closet clutch. What else are we gonna have next and week? And PT by PT, I really need to come and get my So did, I gave you the number. Out. Yeah. And then she'll give you exercises that you can do. Just like how you're supposed to be sitting down doing your kegels, she'll give you exercises for you to sit down and do. I don't know if this is what she's going to give you to do. Remember to like and subscribe, guys. Jody is my WCW every day. You're, you're very, um, expectations are low. <laughs> I joke, I joke. I, joke. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you very much. Jody, we need a packing video. Look here now. I, 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 let me go and pack a few things right Jody's now. Jody's such a good friend. He's a very good friend, you know. Drew He's is a very such good, a friend. good friend. He's such a good friend. Drew, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Tracy is my wife. The one. <laughs> oh, all right. Stability is overrated. <laughs> A joke, yeah? Anybody says stability is me. You know, you spell it J O D L T. <laughs> I'm glad you know that. That, that was flop. I know, but I tried. You know? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do you even taste mine? I, no, but I'm not tasting yours now. I've already eaten like the, the mint that came out of your daughter's mouth. Okay. Now I have to drink your backwash. These are the dregs, not backwash. Just the dregs. Just the dregs. The dregs? I don't want no dregs. No, spit up, I'm going to I'm gonna sip my juice like Kim Kardashian. No, you can't make your... You can't make your mouth purse up. See? It's making a line. You can't make a line. No, you're you're pouting. Why do you have to bow all the way down? If you bow down, you don't purse up. Just because you're bowing down, don't mean you don't purse up. Because if I go like this, see, I have the line up here. So what you do is you put some in the straw and you put the straw down and you throw back. <laughs> here, Kim, that's how you do it. <laughs> Inseminate the straw down in your throat. People are saying where's the termite video. People are looking forward to the termite <laughs> video. So I need to find back termites so I can show you how to find a hole. But I've been so thorough in my termite killing that I don't have any termites right now. No. Come take a take a Kim Kardashian. I seat. can't I can't take any more, Joe. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm look at my eyes. I'm they're barely even open. Scott! What? That's me? No, Kim's calling Scott Bissick, but I call Scott Roman. <laughs> the, bro the, the brother in laws, the bills, the, the bills. brother in laws, man. Oh. Tiffany says, go take a nap. I'm on my way, Tiff. I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, everybody, we want to thank you so much for spending this past couple minutes short of an hour with us. We appreciate you. Big up to Lady B. Yo, the gin, the gin. I'm being very careful, you know. I'm being very, I have class to teach. I have class to teach at 4 o'clock and I have a new point of. Oh, wow. Yes. Um, Next week, sure, I'm hoping to get some great pro summer products on here. You're slurring. You. Am I? We're going to slay summer products on here okay. for next week. There's Tiffany some... says bye-bye. Love you. Bye, sure. Tiffany. Love you. I'll take you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we will see you next week when Trish will be back for some more fun, frolic, and foolishness. Okay? Okay. Look All right, hot it. it's because my, my, yes, it's because my huge station tube is blocked. So I've been talking properly. 
um, had had the chance to log in and watch. Glad to see you both. So make sure you check us out over on YouTube where the show will be in high definition. So if you need to pull any videos, if we've said anything that you need to make go viral or anything, pull it from the YouTube, right? Better, better quality. Better, better quality. quality. Better quality. On the YouTube. YouTube. Right. Evening Hall. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Tube. Hugh Tube. Hugh Tube. Hugh Tube. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye. Hugh.